In this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the number of business days between one date to another date uh, in Tableau. In order to do this, let's open up Tableau. Um, the data set that we're working with is a Superstore uh, sample data. We have, let's go onto the sheet. We have only dragged in orders table. Uh, let's get onto a sheet and let's drag in two dates. So we have order date and the ship date. So this would tell us how long did it take, or we're trying to find out how long did it take between the between when the order was placed to when the order was shipped. So let's drag in these two dates onto the rows shelf. Um, let's convert these both into um, exact date. And let's convert these into discrete. Um, let's drag in. Uh, let's drag in row ID, and let's drag in order ID. So this would tell us um, the order that was placed for this order. How long did it take for this order to be shipped? So as we can see, the order date is um, November 8, 2016, and it was shipped on November 11, 2016. So let's create a calculation. Um, so days taken. And let's put in ship date minus order date. So this would tell us how many days did it take. So let's drag this on to the measures and we find out um, so for the first order between 8 to 11 11 to 8 that's 3 days uh, which is correct so 11 minus 8 is 3 um, so what we're trying to find out is how many business days were between these dates without counting Saturday and Sunday so in order to find out we're going to create a calculated field um, let's call it business days and the calculation is going to be date difference based on week. And for the first one, we will be putting the start date, which is the order date, and the end date that we're trying to see. And this would be shipping date. And we're going to be multiplying this by 5. Let's close this in brackets and multiply this by 5 and for the next one we're going to add the minimum date part based on day and we will be putting the end date which is the ship date so let's do 6 let's press enter and subtract this by the minimum date part based on date and the start date just order date and let's multiply um comma six right let's take out the extra bracket uh, and we're missing a bracket right here let's take this out So we are missing something here. Let's see. Okay, so the calculation is valid. I'll be putting this uh, calculation in the description. Let's press OK. So the first date would be the start date and the second is the end date and in the second um, row we'll be putting the end date which is ship date and in the third where we'll be putting the start date which is order date let's press ok and let's drag the business days calculation onto the measure shelf so as we can see uh, let's switch these so these are the days taken. The first column is the, the number of days that it took. 
and the second is uh, the business days so let's check one or two uh, two of these calculations to make sure it is counting the right amount of business days between these two dates um, let's take this one as an example so basically this order was placed on October 11, 2015, and it was shipped on October 18, 2015. So between these two days, 18 minus 11, so it's seven days that it took. And, but we're trying to find out how many business days that it, it did take uh, between these two dates. So in order to make sure that the number that is coming up, five, is correct, let's open up the calendar. Let's go up to the year... 2015 October 11 so item was ordered on the 11th and it was shipped on the 18th so to find out the number of business days so Monday would be one two three four five so five business days so this is correct um, another let's take another one as an example let's take the largest one okay so let's take this one so between 10 October 26 to November 2nd uh, the days that it took was seven and the uh, business days it says is five so let's check this one as well um, let's get to the year 2017 October it was placed on the 26th of October so counting one two three four five so five days business days for the item to be shipped let's take another one a smaller one let's go with this one so this order was placed on November 2nd and it was shipped on November um, on the 5th of November. So it is three days between these two dates, uh, but the business days was one. So let's check this one out. So let's go to 2017, uh, November 2nd. So November 2nd. So between 2nd and 5th, it was one day. So, one. We're not going to count this, the second. So, we're going to go one. And fourth and fifth was a Sunday. So, it took one business days. So, this is a good calculation to use to find out the business days between uh, two dates. I uh, will go ahead and put this in the description box. Uh, first field is always the start, is the start date. And the second one is the end date. So end date could be uh, today. You can also put now. Um, and this would give you the number of days that it take, took from the order date till now. Um, check out our website, passingbi.com. We uh, have put up courses, quizzes, and exams on Tableau, uh, which will help you pass the Tableau certification exam. And other than that, we also have other courses on other BI tools like ClickView, Power BI, uh, and SQL. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave, leave them below and subscribe and share. Thank you.